In this problem, we're given the sequence of number 6, 6 over 7, 6 over 49, 6 over 343, 6 over 2401, dot, dot, dot. And we're told that it goes from n equals 1 to, to infinity. And we're asked to first find the first or the next two terms of the sequence. Okay. So in order to find the next two terms of the sequence, we have to see what the pattern is here. Okay. So it appears that each time you get a new term, it is one seventh of the term before it. So in other words, if I multiplied the six by one seventh, I would get six over seven. If I multiplied the six over seven by one seventh, I'd get six over 49 and so on and so forth. Okay. So let's see if that, let's see if that continues to hold. So six and then six over seven, we know that one works. If I multiply that by 6 over 7, we do get 6 over 49. Let's see if it works again. So I'll do the 6 over 49. And then I'm going to times that by 1 over 7. Okay, so I get 6 over 343. Okay, so that one works. So it looks like our pattern works. Let's keep going and multiply that by 1 over 7. I get 6 over 2401. Okay, so in order to find the next two of the sequence, I just need to multiply by 1 over 7th again, or you could divide by 7 if you wanted, however you want to look at that. So times 1 divided by 7, math enter, enter, gives us, um, gives us not that. Okay, so let's do it a different way. Let's just say 6 over, and then we'll multiply 2,401 times 7. So that would be 16,807. Okay, and, the, and in the next term, it's a comma, not equals. Next term would be multiply that denominator by a 7 again, and you get one, one, let's see, 117,649. Okay, so those are our next two terms. Okay, got a little semicolon there. All right, so that takes care of the next two terms. The next question says find a recurrence relationship that generates the sequence. Okay, so we sort of already did that um, by multiplying this by one seventh every time. But the reoccurrence relationship uh, is is this: we have a of n plus one is equal to the previous term to a sub n plus one would be just a sub n, and we're going to multiply that by one seventh. So this what this says is if you take the previous term because this is one more. If you take the previous term and multiply by 7th, you get the next term. Okay, so if we wanted the next one, a sub n plus 2 would be equal to 1 7th times a sub n plus 1, and so on and so forth. So that is the recurrence relationship, and it's what we use to figure out these last two terms. And then C, find an explicit formula for the general nth term of the sequence. All right, so explicit formula we need to we need to be able to say find the 100th term immediately without having to find first second third fourth fifth and so on and so forth we need to be able to say okay well what's what's our hundredth term what's our thousandth term so we need a formula that we can just plug in a 100 into to get the 100th term okay so in order to do that we have to we have to look at this sequence again and write it in a different way so notice that the bottom if of this one, the denominator of this one, if I rewrote it, could be 7 to the 0 power. That's a that's a 1, because it's 1. So 6 over 7 to the 0 power is still 6. This is 7 to the 1 power. This is 7 to the 2 power, 7 to the 3 power, 7 to the 4, so on. So a sub n plus 1, a sub n plus 1 is, or actually, let's do a sub n. Well... Yeah, so a sub n plus 1 is equal to 6 over 7 to the n. Okay, so that's a, that's a possible one, um, but we really need a sub n. So if I subtract 1 from here and 1 from here, then my a sub n is going to be equal to 6 over 7 to the n minus 1 term. Okay, so either both of these are technically correct, but this is the one they're going to want because it starts with n, and you can test this. Uh, by just plugging in a 1 into that. 
Okay, so our first term, we plug in a 1. If we plug in a 1 for n, 1 minus 1, remember, is 0, so 7 to 0 power is 1. Our first term is 6. Okay, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's see if it works for our seventh term. So a sub 7, which should be this term right here, is equal to 6 over 7 to the 7 minus 1. And that is 6 over 7 to the 6th. Type that into our calculator. 6 divided by 7 to the 6th. They might not do that for us. So let's just look at the denominator. So 7 to the 6th power. Let's see if let's confirm that's the same denominator. And it is. Okay. So that's your explicit formula.